In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the eyes in an ion. Um, my friend was using this gun and, and it kind of just crapped out on him. Uh, I took it all apart and saw that the eye board was kind of corroded. So I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. Um, obviously, you can access the battery and the board through here. Uh, this little button here will let you tune it. The first thing that you're going to want to do is remove the two screws that are right underneath here. Okay, so go ahead and take these ones off. Alright, so I just went ahead and took these off. You can also obviously take off your barrel. The feed neck, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if it will focus. As you can see that the feed neck is just threads, so you can go ahead and just unscrew it, and that's how you uh, take that off. Alright, so you go ahead and take that off. Next step is there is one, uh, one more right in here. Alright, all three of these are actually one eighth, so uh, you'll need an Allen key set with a one eighth bit in there. So go ahead and take this one out as well. Okay. So now that you've got uh, now that you've got the frame and body disconnected like this, you can kind of pull up on it a little bit. I'm hoping you can see that. Pull up on it a little bit, just like that, to where it's loose. Okay. So you're gonna pull up on it. So it's loose like that, and underneath here, let me see if I can just get a better shot here. All right, so I can get a better shot from like right here. So you pull up on it, and this should slide up. Now, if you are not, if it's not coming out, what you need to do is you need to open it up in here, and disconnect your battery, and kind of play around with this cord in here. Okay, that'll usually what happens is this cord gets hung up on the board and then you can't pull it out. So go ahead and pull up on it. And you'll pull it up enough to where you can get to this banjo bolt right here. And the same thing, just go ahead and disconnect it. It's only going to be a couple of turns before it comes free. So the bolt's actually not going to come out, it'll stay connected to the air hose. Alright, so you get that disconnected, you turn this one sideways. And you can actually do the same thing and disconnect this one if you'd like. So a couple of turns and then it'll disconnect. And then what you've got left on here is you've got your eye, uh, your eye wires right here. So you got your eye wires and then you've got this other fitting. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but there's a little gold fitting. You can go ahead and just twist it, and it's just a normal screw in. It's it's a banjo bolt, but there's no head on it for the QED here. All right, so you just twist that off. Let's see if I can focus it. All right, so you guys see that? This is just a twist off here. You got the banjo bolt and the banjo bolt and your eye, your eye connector. All right. So you got that all disconnected. Now you got your now you got your body here. Okay. So this will slide right out. And once you've slid it out, you're gonna see that the board. You guys see that? See the board is right in here. All you're gonna need to do is pull up on it. So if you want to get a pick, you might be able to do it with your fingernails. Uh, but there you go. You got your little eye board pulled out. Mine's got some corrosion on the back here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my new board. And while I'm in here, I'm also going to replace the eye harness because um, this one's brand new. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it with this, this brand new one. Alright. So you got this. And you can just gently work it back in. Just like that to replace your eye harness just grab this and 
pull back firmly. Try and get as close as you can to the uh, to the plastic piece. If you just yank on the wires, you're going to wind up pulling it out of the white plastic head, and you don't want to do that. This piece will only fit in one way, so you don't have to worry about putting it in backwards. Just don't jam it, and you'll be fine. It'll just pop right in there. All right, so that's it. Then you're going to put it back together the same way you took it apart. Just connect the eye harness, connect this, two banjo bolts, and you're good to go. Just want to make a quick, uh, quick um, note about these, these screws. What you want to do with these three screws is you want to just thread them in like one or two threads, uh, one or two threads each, and then tighten them down. You don't want to tighten down one and then go for the rest of them uh, because it's, it's a little bit tricky to get the body in alignment. So you want to go ahead and make sure that you get a couple threads in first or else you risk cross-threading it. Um, so just, just do it finger tight, get them all in there, and then tighten it down. All right. All right, guys, so you guys just replaced your eyes. How do you tell that it's working? Go ahead uh, and install the battery. Get everything back together, install the battery, and you'll see right here how it's blinking. You know your eyes are working when uh, you put something in the breech and it speeds up the blinking. That's when the gun thinks there's a ball in there. So if, so if you get it all back together and it's blinking once and you put your finger in there, and it doesn't start blinking fast, that means either that wasn't the problem or you forgot to hook something up or something like that. So on the stock ion board, you've got the one blink, it's just blink, 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 and then you've got the double blink, and that means the eyes are off. So that means it'll, it'll fire regardless of the eyes. So you can either, if your eyes are broken, you can either just use it with the eyes off uh, and get a fast hopper, or you could spend the five, ten bucks and get uh, some new eyes, replace it in five minutes and get the gun working again. All right, that's all I got. If you guys got questions, you can post them. Thanks for watching.